Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm launching my new collection. This one is my 3D Delights pop-ups. I will be live at 12.30 today over on the Craft Stash Facebook page. And as always, I will share all that information in the description box below. You'll be able to watch me do a couple of demos there and I'll show you this in a lot more detail and I'll be able to answer any questions that you might have. So in the collection, you get this main set here. So you get 19 dies and this will create different pop-ups for you. So you can have a pop-up cup, pop-up basket, pop-up hat. You can have a pop-up cake, which can, be, which can be a single tier. You can have two tiers or three tiers. It can just be a structure or a platform for you to then build up different pop-ups with stamps that you already have and papers that you already have in your stash. There is so much that you can do with this. And I've got some lovely samples to share with you and hopefully that will then inspire you to come up with some more ways to use this. There's a new 8x8 paper pad. So there's 24 sheets. You get four each of six designs and it's 190 GSM. And you can see there you've got a really nice mix of gingham and polka dots. There's a new sentiment set. So these are all circular sentiments. I've wanted some circular ones for some time now. And I really like these ones that I've put together. So there's something to go with all of the ways that you can use the pop-up. So you've got you are my cup of tea. So sorry for your loss. My blood type is coffee. You've got birthday girl, birthday boy, then you've got happy birthday in a circle. Tea is a hug in a mug. All you need is love and coffee. Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. A basket full of love to the happy couple. Let your dreams blossom. Congratulations. Life is better with flowers and heartfelt sympathy. And then you've also got some other little hearts and all of these are all separate stamps so you can mix them around. And then you've got these circles which will cut all of those sentiments out perfectly and you can mat and layer them. And then you have these dies here which will also cut into them so you can make like little discs. It's really cute and just a different way to add sentiments onto your projects. There's two new stamp and die sets. Now these have elements to be able to turn your pop-up into different things. So you can see here, you've got a handle, so you can turn it into a cup. If you double the handles, it could be like a baby's cup. It could be a trophy. You could add a base to it. It could be a soup bowl or something. So again, lots of ways that you can use this. These ones here are to represent the steam from the coffee or the tea or whatever the hot drink is. You've got one that's in a heart shape and then just the swirls. You've got your candles for your birthday cake. And then you've got this lovely trellis here, which can go on the cake. It looks lovely on a wedding sample that Gemma's done for me, but it's also great on the basket. And then you've got this trim here. If you want it to turn it into a hat, then you've got that. And then you've also got all these different sized scallop pieces, which is to create the effect of icing. And they look really great. And then just a couple of leaves and things just to kind of build it up. But these two work perfectly together. So you've got on this one, you've got the flowers. And these are just a really simple stitch detail flower with the circle detail there. You can either add the circle with the die or the stamp will stamp that circle as well. You've got your bunny here, so you can turn it into like a magic hat, an Easter bonnet. And I'll definitely be focusing on that rabbit next year. You've got some gloves here. So again, if you want to do like a Mother's Day kind of hat, then the gloves look really nice. You've got a lovely big bow and you've got the smaller, thinner bow there. You've got your handle for your basket. You've got a hairpin and then you've got a thicker band here as well. So I've really mixed these all together when I've been doing the samples. You get 17 dies and 11 stamps in this one and 16 dies and 12 stamps in this one. And then this is the first time I've done eight by eight embossing folders. It's something that has been asked a few times and only recently someone else mentioned it. So I'm glad to now be able to share these ones with you. You will need a larger die cutting machine for these ones. And all of those dies, actually, while I remember all of this and the main mechanism will all go through a standard die machine. So you don't need your big one for the main collection there that I just shared with you. But if you do like bigger embossing folders, then you will need a bigger machine. I just wanted some really nice kind of timeless patterns so you've got your linen detail here and you'll see this on the samples love this one and it's going to be great for when i do like my 3d projects and make gift bags and gift boxes and things i'll definitely be using it and then this one here's your ditzy print and this is nice to just create like a icing effect on a cake or just you know just a nice pattern to use on backgrounds of your cards and so on so that's all of the product let me show you some of the lovely samples and exactly what these dies can do so I'll start off with this one here. This is just the single tier. This will fit into a six by six box envelope. And then when you open this one up, you have a little pop up hat. And I've created this as a birthday card. I've used the little disc topper there with relax. I've actually used the flowers here from a past collection. So they work really well with the flowers and foliage 
and the butterflies galore that was launched with the showstopper collection so if you have these they are perfect you'll use them a lot with this set you can see the papers there you've got the gloves i've added the band you've got space on the bottom there to be able to write your message or you could have it on the back here if you would prefer you don't have to add the pattern paper there and you can see the hairpin in there as well just as another added little bit of detail and then again it all folds down and that will fit into your envelope I've done this one here where I've turned it into a basket of flowers. This is in a six by six card blank. So just another way to use these dies. You don't have to have them as a standalone. You can pop them into a card fold. And I've got a basket full of love on the front there. And then when you open this one up, it's got the happy birthday on the inside. A little bit more detail on the back there, but you can see just how lovely that all looks. You've got the handle there and then on the back, Again, you've got your space to write your message or you could have something there if you wanted to but that can now be displayed like so and again that will go into one of my box envelopes Gemma's made this lovely three-tiered wedding cake she's actually kept this as a solid piece so what I'm thinking about maybe doing is a display box I do have a small display box which I think would fit a six by six size so something like this like a single tier and I will link those up here but i'll also link it in the tutorials when i share them but i'm going to probably look at maybe a bigger display box so i think as a keepsake or just as a gift as well i think this is just beautiful i love what she's done here and you can see the trellis detail that she's used on this one she's had lots of pearls and it's just it's gorgeous and then this is the bride and groom from my easy pop-ups collection that i launched i just think it looks beautiful love is in the air so pretty here is a pop-up coffee cup that I've made. Coffee and friends are the perfect blend. And I've just heat embossed the flowers there on some glitter card. I think it looks lovely. And I love the brown card on the top there with the heart shaped steam and the handle. You could have this space, like I said, on the back there to write your message, but I would write this underneath. As soon as you start adding the additions, you will need to have a bigger envelope. But again, I'll be talking you through all of that. And I've got lots of tutorials with bigger box envelope already. This is another sample that Gemma's done and she's made a pop-up basket. And I love the way that she's created the bow on the front there with the kind of like loose ribbon. And then she's used the bloom on the front and she's used the sunflowers from again, the flowers and foliage there. But that shows the handle really well. And again, that trellis detail all the way around. Such a lovely style, really, really pretty. I also thought it'd be nice to share some Christmas cards. So I've turned this into a snowman's hat. So you can see the embossing folder detail here. And I've used the snowman stamp set from my Christmas release. And I just think it turned out really well. I've used the sentiment, wrapped it around the bottom there. Happy holidays to the best person I snow. I just think it's a really fun and just something a little bit different. And like I said, you can have your message on the back or on the very bottom here. And then look at this wonderful Christmas tree that Gemma has made. So I asked her to be creative and use these Christmas characters. And I thought of a Christmas workshop or Santa's workshop and she's turned it into a tree and I love it. Hands up if you've been good. She's used again. Oh, these are all the characters from the Christmas collection, which are still available. And she's used the um, the lights here are from the Papercraft Society kit. Love the star on the top. Just think it is lovely. It's such a sweet style. So I'm definitely going to be making one of these because I want one to be able to send to people. And then a few other ones. If you like to make large cards, then these ones Gemma's made and she's popped. This one, I believe, is an eight by eight size. So that's actually the front there. So she's just kept it really simple because these cards are designed to be open and displayed open. Look at this one. Happy birthday. And those are the chunky alphabet dies. And then she's used the butterflies from the butterflies galore. And just done a basket of butterflies. I think it's beautiful. So, I mean, that's a huge showstopper. You can see the space that that one will take up. But I know lots of you like to make these larger cards. And these, I always say, are great for if you've got like um, a work colleague and you need somewhere for lots of people to sign. How lovely would that look? If someone opened that to see all of the signatures and lovely messages that people had sent. So it's just another way to use them. And then look at this wonderful magician's hat that Gemma has created this one i think she's popped it into like a six and a half or maybe a seven by seven card you see the embossing folder on there and she used the gloves and then these playing cards are from a very old set of mine it's about two years ago now and it's from the twist and pop it's magic so if you've got that one this is just another fun way to make a quite unique card i think 
And then we've got this one here by Gemma. So she's turned the teacup into a 3D piece. So this is solid. You can't fold this one. That's going to look beautiful in the display box that I mentioned earlier. This should fit into it quite well. So like I said, I'll remember to share it here so you can have a little look at that one. It's a really nice way to just gift a really special card or just a fun 3D papercraft project and have it protected. But I love that she's used the flowers from the die set with the foam. And then you've got the sentiment there, let your dreams blossom. But I think that's a cute little keepsake, especially if you've got another crafty friend. You know, they can pop that in their craft room. I think it's beautiful. And then the last sample I've got is this beautiful three-tiered birthday card that I've made. Happy birthday at the top. You can see the candles. I've used accent glaze, just some simple inking on the flowers. But I really focused on just heat embossing in silver, all of the stamps there. See the embossing folder and then the scallop detail. And then this is a standalone one. So I would just have my message on the bottom there and then it will all fold down. And I think this one would go into a six by eight. Yeah, so that will go into a six by eight box, which I already have on the channel. So those are all the samples that I've got to share. I absolutely love them. And thank you as always to Gemma. And I hope you enjoy this new collection that I'm sharing today. I will be live, like I said at the beginning, at 12.30 BST over on the Craft Stash Facebook page. And that will all be linked below along with all of the products. You can have a little look as well. I will be doing two more samples, so different to what's here. So again, a bit more inspiration. And I already have four tutorials filmed, ready to go, showing you how I've made some of these samples here. So I hope you enjoy the new 3D Delights collection. As always, thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Take care.